moving on to the third sum evaluate in the first bit sin square 63 degrees plus sin square 27 degrees whole divided by cos square 17 degrees plus cos square 73 degrees now moving on to the solution let us consider the first bit that is sin square 63 degrees plus sin square 27 degrees whole divided by cos square 17 degrees plus cos square 73 degrees so now in order to convert this given numerator and denominator form into the identities we have cos of 90 minus a is equal to sin a and sin of 90 degrees minus a is equal to cos a by using this let us have one trigonometric ratio in the first term in terms of cos and other in terms of sin and in the similarly in the denominator also one term let us have in terms of sin and other term in terms of cos so let us check whether they may form an identity so let sin square 63 degrees remain as it is plus sin 27 degrees can be written as cos of 90 degrees minus 27 degrees whole square divided by here cos square 17 degrees let it remain as, as it is and let us express cos 73 degrees whole square as sin of 90 degrees minus 73 degrees whole square so now expression will be equal to in the numerator sin square 63 degrees plus cos of 90 degrees minus 27 degrees is nothing but cos 63 degrees and its whole square is nothing but cos square 63 degrees divided by cos square 17 degrees in the denominator remains same plus sin of 90 degrees minus 73 degrees is nothing but sin of 17 degrees and its whole square is sin square 17 degrees now the numerator and denominator are in the form of sin square theta plus cos square theta we know that from the identity sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 let us substitute in the expression then this becomes 1 in the numerator divided by 1 in the denominator which is equal to 1 Moving on to the solution for second bit of the problem, the given expression is that sin 25 degrees into cos 65 degrees plus cos 25 degrees into sin 65 degrees. Now, in this given expression, there are two terms that is sin 25 degrees into cos 65 degrees plus cos 25 degrees into sin 65 degrees if we observe clearly we can convert one of the term in terms of sin and other terms in terms of cos so that this may form an identity so this can be done by using the formula sin of 90 degrees minus a is equal to cos a and cos of 90 degrees minus a is equal to sin a which is equal to let us express the first term in terms of cos then this becomes cos of 90 degrees minus 25 degrees into cos 65 degrees plus let us express the second term in terms of sin this becomes sin of 90 degrees minus 25 degrees into sin of 65 degrees that will be equal to cos of 90 degrees minus 25 degrees is nothing but 
cos 65 degrees into cos 65 degrees plus sin of 90 degrees minus 25 degrees is nothing but sin 65 degrees into sin 65 degrees that whole is equal to cos 65 degrees into cos 65 degrees is nothing but cos square 65 degrees plus sin 65 degrees into sin 65 degrees is nothing but sin square 65 degrees this is in the form of sin square theta plus cos square theta and we know that this value is equal to 1 from identity 1 so now the whole value becomes 1 therefore sin 25 degrees into cos 65 degrees plus cos 25 degrees into sin 65 degrees will be equal to 1 moving on to the fourth question choose the correct option justify your choice now moving on to the first bit he has given an expression 9 secant square a minus 9 tan square a is equal to let us take 9 common in this then we get 9 of secant square a minus tan square a which is equal to 9 times we have an identity secant square a minus tan square a is equal to 1 which is equal to 9 so option b is correct for the first one now moving on to the second bit he has given an expression 1 plus tan theta plus secant theta into 1 plus cot theta minus cosecant theta so here we have many options so let us substitute theta is equal to 45 degrees then we get a solution that will be 1 plus tan 45 is nothing but 1 plus and secant 45 is nothing but root 2 into 1 plus cot 45 is nothing but 1 minus cosecant 45 is nothing but root 2 therefore that will be equal to 2 plus root 2 into 2 minus root 2 which is equal to this is in the form of a plus b into a minus b which will be equal to a square minus b square that is 2 square minus root 2 square which is equal to 4 minus 2 and finally it's equal to 2 so option c is correct now moving on to the third question the given expression is secant a plus tan a into 1 minus sin a which is equal to let us write in the simplest form that is 1 by cos a plus sin a by cos a whole into 1 minus sin a in the numerator we get 1 plus sin a into 1 minus sin a whole divided by cos a which is equal to this is in the form of 1 a plus b into a minus b which is nothing but a square minus b square that is 1 minus sin square a by cos a from the identity sin square a plus cos square a is equal to 1 which implies 1 minus sin square a is equal to cos square a so let us substitute here then we get cos square a by a and cos square a by cos a is nothing but cos a so our option will be option d and finally moving on to the fourth bit he has given an expression 1 plus tan square a by 1 plus cot square a which is equal to 
1 plus tan square a divided by 1 plus cot square a can be written as 1 by tan square a that is equal to 1 plus tan square a whole divided by let us take tan square a LCM in the denominator then it becomes 1 plus tan square a and as numerator and denominator 1 plus tan square a is common that will be cancelled and finally we are left out with tan square a so our option will be option B again